हेलो नमस्कार दिस इज नीरज पितले एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो आई हैड बीन आस्ड अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस ऑन इंस्टाग्राम व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू आंसर इन दिस वीडियो सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो आई वांट टू क्लियर फ्यू डाउट्स दैट आई थिंक पीपल माइट हैव बिकॉज आई गेट अ लॉट ऑफ कमेंट्स अबाउट इट द फर्स्ट वन इज दैट आई एम एम आई स्टिल डूइंग होटल क्वारंटाइन आई एम नॉट I know that uh, the vlogs that I put are quite delayed. Uh, it is because my life here has become very busy, and uh, I really don't get time to edit. So today is twenty second of September, and this is the most recent video that I am shooting right now. Uh, or else, all the vlogs are going to be a little delayed because I don't get enough time to edit. So that's it. Let's jump right into the questions. Okay, so the first question is from Shamita Sharma. I'm uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing the names incorrect. So, the first question says, when is the right time to consult with the agency and start the application process? So, I'll talk for myself. I started my process back in September 2020. So, I think it's been like a, almost a year before, and I consulted with the agency like uh, nine months before, I think. So, to answer this question, I think as soon as you're sure about studying abroad, you should start consulting with an agency. So the next question is from Irfan Said. Uh, he asked, "How long it took for you to get your cash after credibility round?" So it's a strange story for me because uh, I did my cash interview uh, somewhere around February, but I got my cash later in like end of April, which is not usually the case. You can expect your cash later within two to three weeks, I think max. <laughs> So there's another question by Irfan. Uh, he is asking, where are you studying in UK? Uh, is it accommodation or your own? So I am staying in Luton and I stay on the campus. So it's like a student village they call it here. So I stay on campus uh, at University of Bedfordshire. So the next question is from my friend uh, Astrel from Mumbai. He says, talk me through the internship for international students and its benefits. Hmm. frankly speaking as well i think uh, because i haven't uh, got an internship myself i can't be answering this question in the correct manner maybe but uh, from what i know i think uh, the internships are pretty similar uh, how we had back in india like the process is same you apply through indeed or all these job platforms that we have uh, send your cv uh, they'll reply you back uh, maybe they'll have an interview or something but the process is pretty much similar you can apply as soon as you come here or you can apply from uh, our home own country as well uh, the only difference for international students is that because we are international students we are here on a international visa like student visa which allows us to work only 20 hours per week and most of the people would want you to work more so that is the only issue you have uh, less opportunities little less than what uh, normal people would get here so yeah i think uh, this is what i can answer for now the next question is from komal.5 what do you study in uk what is the expenses of studying in uk so i am a mba in finance student here at the university of bedfordshire and the expenses of studying uh, well it depends if you're doing a masters i would say uh, with entire expenses of like visa and your flight ticket and everything um should not go more than 25 to 30 lakhs in indian rupees so this is another question by komal.5 as a maharashtrian what difficulties you faced in uk till now as a maharashtrian i think it's difficult to find other maharashtrians because uh, i haven't met any till now so yeah so yet another question by komal.5 what is your educational background so i have completed my bachelor's in mass media from st andrews mumbai um so that would be my educational background so the next question is from khetri mayum abhijit singha what's your average living expenses per month so as i'm living here i've lost the count now uh, when i landed i had uh, decided i'm going to spend this much and all of that but uh, as i'm living here i have literally lost the count so but the monthly expenses including your accommodation um would range uh, somewhere between 600 to 1000 pounds 
So the next question is from Salman Zakaria dot underscore nine two zero zero. How much about your visa fees and funds? Uh, Salman, I have made a separate video about the entire process of visa, the fees, and everything. So just click the I button, uh, and you'll get to the video. Next question is from Nick. How is Imperial College London? Hmm. I don't think I can comment on any other college because uh, I would really not know exactly because uh, at least from this college I don't have any friends from so I can't say but uh, one thing I can tell you guys is uh, no matter which university or college you go into here in UK uh, you would get like the basic things that we expect a good infrastructure you would meet new people you would get that in- international exposure and everything mm, so what really matters is your course you should uh, see if the university is offering a course that best suits you if it does go for the university so there is uh, another question from my friend aditya here from mumbai uh, are people funnier there than indians not than you buddy but uh, no so the next question is from its underscore sahil how much is cost for your student visa so again sahil i have made an entire separate video about the entire visa process so just click the i button uh, and you'll get to the video so the next question is from swarnim gawade he is uh, one of my friends from mumbai and in fact he is a youtuber himself so i link his channel somewhere above go subscribe him guys he makes amazing vlogs and content so you'll definitely love it so he is asking future plans for youtube and career future plan for youtube uh, if i can only manage to make videos and upload it per week uh, at least one video per week i would be more than happy so that's my future plan to reach there where i'm putting out videos every week and career wise i think i'm going with the flow so i'll grab whatever comes to me so the next question is from mayuresh.xd can i do my ms in uk and get a job in canada or us mm, obviously it is possible i think uh, as once you are finished with your masters what you can do is you can find a company an mnc which is in uk and it has some office in us or canada so that once you start working with them you can later on ask to shift uh, in that country i think it is possible so yeah and also uh, there's one more thing i'm not really very very sure about it but uh, go and do research on it i think it is possible that um, once you stay in uk you get some credit points for your citizenship in canada so uh, look for that as well uh, there's another question from mayuresh what is two year placement program in uk simple words please uh, so two years placement program is like uh, i am doing a masters for one year right now uh if there would have been a two year placement program it would have been like i am studying for one year and the second year is going to be my placement year where uh, the university will help me with the interviews and with my cv and everything so it's more like the entire year is focused on your placement they will help you as much as possible for you to place somewhere so that is what two year placement program is usually So the next question is asked by Faisal Ghus did you pay up the full amount of your university fees at once and if no will you get the breakage to pay so i think it de- again de- depends on university to university but uh, i didn't pay the full amount at start i paid somewhere around 70 to 75% and then when i reached here i paid the full amount but uh, to get the breakage usually it depends on universities you can ask the international office or the finance office uh, about the breakage because it will differ according to universities usually it is like uh, first 3 months you don't have to pay anything and then every 2 or 3 months you pay little by little so that's it and a good thing for you to know would be that uh, because you're paying it uh, little by little it won't uh, increase the overall cost it would still be the same fees you would just pay it in installments So the next question is from Shabana May. Airport immigration questions. So uh, 
I don't know why, but a lot of people are asking me about airport immigration questions. So it's nothing uh, difficult or nothing different than what questions you must have got in your CAS interview. They would just ask you about uh, where you will stay in UK, which university are you in, how long are you planning to stay in UK, and what is your purpose of coming to UK. So yeah, this uh, normal questions. It's not that difficult or anything. It's just uh, like it. It would maximum take five minutes. Uh, my immigration process finished in just five minutes. so it won't take long you should just carry all of your documents and show it there you wouldn't need to stress about this so the next question is from mangesh podar he says uh, felt till the heart this is for india to uk part 2 by the way what is the jacket called which you're wearing bro just curious so uh, a lot of people have been asking me about this particular jacket that i wore in the video uh, I don't think it has a particular name, but uh, I can tell you the brand that it's from. It's a Monte Carlo jacket. Um, I bought it from a store in Ahmedabad from uh, Alpha One Mall. So yeah, I don't know what it's called exactly, but it's a Monte Carlo jacket. So there's there's another question by Tushar Jadhav. You are about eighteen plus. Doesn't require birth certificate. So. birth certificate is uh, usually needed if you are showing your funds that you you know uh, maintain for 28 days in your bank so if the bank account belongs to your father so to show the relation between you and your father you need to show the birth certificate so other than that you wouldn't need a birth certificate really but to have all the documents would be really nice because uh, you wouldn't want to face any uh, like random and sudden problems Okay, so the last question is from my childhood best friend, Ronit Sanjay Kamath Sani, uh, whom I'm expecting to reach here uh, by the start of next year, I think. So he's asking, after so many months in UK, what do you think about having a one-year MBA program instead of two years of MBA program? So uh, when I was looking for MBA programs. Um, in finance specifically there was no two year program that i could find but if you are getting a mba program for two years i would have preferred that because it just gives you an extra year to stay here in uk that means you will make more contacts you will apply for more jobs so obviously your chances of placing somewhere would increase and two years of mba program means that you have a placement year so obviously you will get a lot of help for placement as well so it just increases your chances of placing somewhere in the company that you want to so yeah i would have preferred taking two years of mba program so i think that's it we are at the end of this video and uh, i think i should do this more often because i get to answer uh, to your questions directly i see that most of the people that uh, have questions want to come here so i wish all of you people all the very best i hope this video must have helped you guys in some or the other way if it did uh, give it a thumbs up comment and let me know if you have any more questions and if you haven't already subscribe to this channel because we are going to come up with a lot of more videos and more such q and a videos as well so that's it from my side guys take care love and peace tata -ta.